Big drip, big drip. I'm gonna get straight to the point. I am back with another cooking vlog. You heard? You heard? Big drip, big drip. Y'all see my girl Beyonce? Big drip, bitch. Alright, guys, I'm back with another cooking vlog. And I want to show you guys how to make a five step chicken alfredo. Um, the reason why I'm doing this because I went to a restaurant, the chicken alfredo was watered down, the chicken cutlet or whatever chicken they used was thick, chunky, and I did not like it. So I want to show you guys how to make a real chicken alfredo. Five steps, easy, less than 30 minutes, 45 minutes to be exact. But anyways, so I'm going to get right into it. So, <coughs> excuse me, what you will need, you're going to need uh, bags of chicken. I use this uh, Purdue chicken cutlets, um, chicken breast. It's probably like two chicken breasts in here cut up in thin, um, small, thin cutlets. And um, they come like this. They are cooked already and you could just put them inside, cook them, season them, whatever. They're cooked already so you don't have to really worry about cooking them fully because they cooked already you just cook them i usually just cook them over just to get a little crisp on top of it and to season it that's it you will need that step you will need broccoli of course i am using broccoli burst eye broccoli this is cooked broccoli already all you do is put it in a microwave it will cook in 60 seconds five minutes 60 seconds let me see, let me see. i think it's 60 seconds five minutes gonna cook it five minutes put it in here press five in your microwave depending on your microwave it if you read the back it will just show you how to go about it anyways put this in your microwave so I'm gonna put this in the microwave right now and I'm gonna put it on five minutes and it should be done once it is done it will basically puff up and then you know it's done microwave broccoli unseasoned bird's eye it will cook in five minutes and it's basically cooked broccoli ready you just reheat it i'm gonna put it in here okay that's in here then i got my water boiling and it should be boiled soon all right so we got the chicken cutlet i'll show you from purdue chicken cutlet this is expensive in the store but it's better to get it like this then buying a whole breast cutting it up this is Purdue chicken cutlet calm chicken and it's $3.93 in the store Walmart cooked chicken and that's it you also need noodles any noodles that you want to use you can use whatever noodles you like I chose this noodles because it's smaller um like I said I don't really I don't really eat this for the noodles I eat it for the cheese and the broccoli and the chicken so this is what I'm gonna use <coughs> After that, you will need two sorts of cheese. You can use one. I use two. I use the Parmesan for uh, the thickness, and then I use the mozz—I mean, the mozzarella for the cheesiness, and then I use the Parmesan for the thickness. Two. Um, mozzarella is cheaper than Parmesan. Parmesan chicken. This is like five dollars for this small pack of Parmesan shredded cheese, and the mozzarella is probably like two dollars and ninety-three cents. But these are the two you're going to need. That's the third step. And, of course, you will need, it don't matter what brand, whatever brand that you like, you can use it. <coughs> you use this brand, you're going to need whipping cream. This is the most important thing to your Alfredo, especially if you want it nice and creamy and rich. You're going to need this, okay? Um, right now, I got my water boiling. I'm going to go ahead um, and show you guys. Uh, what the, you get you a nice little saucepan. Nice little saucepan like this. Put you a little bit of oil inside, a little bit just to coat the bottom so you can put your cheese on. I mean, your chicken. So right now, my... Um, the noodles is boiling, so I'm going to go ahead, I mean my water is boiling, sorry guys, my water is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and put my box of noodles inside. You don't have to use the whole box, you could just use half a box, I'm going to use three-fourths box of this, because I'm not making a whole 
Um, I'm not making a whole meal. I'm just making enough for like five people. So I'm going to put half inside. Also, you want to make sure you put salt in your water. That way your noodles will have some type of salt to it. So right now, I put my noodles in. Uh, my noodles is boiling. My broccoli is in. My broccoli have absolute, uh, like 1 minute and 55 seconds left before it's done. And I'm going to go ahead and put some heat to my grease <coughs> so I can throw my chicken inside. Like I said, this should take less than 40 minutes to make this chicken alfredo. It should come out perfect. It should come out good. And if you do it the right way, it'll be done faster than you can remember. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and take my Purdue chicken. Both packs. Depending on how much chicken you like, you can use uh, three things of chicken don't matter and put it in. I will have you and that's it. So I'm going to throw this in there. So like I said, um, the chicken is basically, um, the chicken is basically cooking. It's cooked already, but you're just basically putting a little extra crisp on it and I'm going to also put a little season on it. I like to put like a little bit of onion on it. You don't have to do it. You could just leave it as that. But I like a little bit of chicken um, seasoning on my chicken and yeah, like that. So we're going to fry this up a little bit and it should be done shortly. My noodles is cooking. Um, I'm going to Done. You will smell the broccoli once it is done. You will smell it. So I'm gonna let it sit after the five minutes. I'm gonna let it sit inside for maybe a minute to cool off. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. Um, my noodles is boiling. You wanna you wanna spin your noodles. So everything can fully get done. Noodles is done in no time, okay? So you just basically you want to move your chicken around a little bit. You know, it's just chicken. And as I say, you just want to make sure you get that extra crisp on it because it's done already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little onion in it just so it have a taste and of course a little bit of garlic and I'm gonna leave it as that like that um so like I said the chicken is the broccoli is done. Once the broccoli is done, while it's cooking, it basically puffs up. And then when it's done and you leave it in for a minute, it flattens. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this out and let it cool freshly. Be careful because it's very hot. I'm going to put it on a plate so it can cool. Um, when you're making chicken alfredo and you're making your broccoli or whatever, whew, you see that heat? That's that broccoli. It's well cooked. And this broccoli, it really don't have like uh, too much things. 
So I'm gonna show you. Once the broccoli is done, it's hot. Whoo! Should have hot. <laughs> so once it's done, I'll show you because my hands is hot. We're gonna let that cool because my hands is burning. But I really want to show you how the broccoli look when it comes out of the microwave and what you have to do. So the chicken is done. I'm just, like I said, I'm just putting a little crisp on it and whatnot. And that's basically it. Little crisp on it. Turn it up. Um, use the same spoon, don't matter. Put it inside. You want to mix up your noodles. That way everything will loosen up. Back to the broccoli. The broccoli looks like this. So when you're making out chick Alfredo, honey, you look at that broccoli. Look, you do not want no freaking big chunks of broccoli in your chicken Alfredo. You want a small. So what I do, I just basically peel it to become this small, and I shred it like this. Shred it. And I shred it because nobody wants big chunk. Well, I don't want big chunks of broccoli in my food so I basically just shred it the smaller it is I just shred it because I don't want big chunks of broccoli in my alfredo I just want the green and a taste see and it, it comes the broccoli comes smaller and you more you shred it they, they, they start to look smaller and smaller and smaller so I shred it so when um I put it inside it's good you don't have to use the stem part. You could just take the top off because we're just really looking for the green and the broccoli of it. You don't have to use the, all of it. You just break it up as small as you can. It's really hot. This is a good broccoli too, has, I'm telling you. Um, fresh broccoli is always good, but like I said, this is a five-step chicken alfredo, and I want you guys to learn how to make it and what to buy and have a meal ready in less than 45 minutes. Time it, I'm telling you, less than 45 minutes. So you shred your broccoli, shred it, shred it. I love this, guys, it's, it's gonna be so good. You shred your broccoli, um, you don't have to shred it long, you can break it up from the top of the root like this, instead of like peeling it, you can just take the top off, eat the bottle, and there's like little pieces. It will break up. And that's it. And that's what I do. I break it up. I don't really always use the stem. I put it to the side. And because I don't want to use all of that. You know. I just like the top of the broccoli. Because I just want the green to circle around the alfredo. Same with the chicken. Like I said, the chicken is done already. You just basically put in that extra. Oh no! Shit, if y'all wasn't looking, I'm gonna put that shit in my box. But anyway, I had a piece of chicken for. So yeah, five sets. My noodles is almost done, and then we're gonna get right into it. I'm just basically breaking it up. Once you finish your broccoli, breaking it up, you don't have to throw everything away. Your broccoli should look like little pieces, you know, little pieces like that. Um, if you don't like broccoli in your Alfredo, then it, I, I would advise you to put some broccoli, put some type of vegetable in there. You could also put carrots. I don't like carrots. I hate carrots. But... I eat it in certain meals and whatever. So yeah, my um, broccoli is done. So out of that whole pack of broccoli, this is what I got out of it. And yeah, it's shredded. And that's what you want in your Alfredo. You want a shredded broccoli like that. And it's good like that. So now that it's warm and to the side, you want to set it aside. See? 
I wish I could do it even more. See, nice broccoli. Now, um, like I said, you don't want your chicken hard or well done. I just basically done already. Just want to cook it a little bit. I want to cook some more. I want to cook some more. Like I said, the chicken, Purdue chicken, is already done. This is already done for two Purdue chicken. It is fully cooked and grilled. So really all you have to do is just microwave it. This is good for anything. Stir fry. This is very good. It'll give you the ingredients on the back. So yeah. So once I finish, you know, frying this chicken up, even though it's grilled already, I just do it just to keep it hot. And um, it'll be done. So, I always peel it out to see how it looks. So, ooh, hot. So, here's the chicken. Taste it nice and soft. So, I mean, it's done. So, we're going to mix it up. And I'm going to cut this off. Because my chicken is done already. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. So I'm gonna give me another pot. I have to play how to hurry up because my kids are getting hungry and I gotta go to work. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna take the chicken and I'm gonna put it on a plate and um let it cool and once i let it cool i will shred the chicken the reason why i'm going to shred the chicken is because to make extra chicken and the alfredo <clears throat> all right i'm done with that now all we're doing is we basically waiting for the noodles once the noodles is done then i'm gonna show you how to do it so with the noodles i'll tell you a trick Watching other chefs on television showed me how to let me know when my doodles is done. So, guys back i'm sorry had a little baby tantrum going on and it's still going on so guys like i said when you want to find out if your noodles is done one of the chefs told me it so i'm gonna go and pick up a noodle so my baby is crying my noodles i'm gonna put it here and it said the way you test a noodle if you throw it on, if you stick it on the back of your stove and it sticks, I think they said that it's not done. But if you throw it on there and it falls, then it's done. Let's see. Okay, it fell. So, it's not, if it don't stick, then it's not done. If it falls, then it's done. So, my noodles are done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to drain it. Drain my noodles. Where the hell? You know how I'm 
So yeah, guys, I'm gonna drain the noodles. My noodles is done, and I'm gonna place my same bowl on top of the stove because I need this. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little grease in it, okay? And the reason why I'm putting a little bit of grease in it because I'm gonna put my chicken inside here. Like that. So, as I sit there, I'm gonna basically run some cold water on, over my noodles that was a trick that i learned how to freeze the noodles i forget what it's called pooch or poach i'm not sure but poach the noodles or whatever and so it can get it cold and warm so it could be nice and ready for the alfredo <clears throat> Throwing cold water over my noodles so it can be ready. Now I'm gonna take my chicken, see these, and I'm gonna shred the chicken inside the pot. Shred it because instead of using these big chunks of chicken inside my chicken alfredo, I'm gonna break it down so it can be more chicken, right? chicken and you're gonna pull it apart like that that way you can have more chicken but less is more so you can take one piece of chicken and break it apart I'm gonna show you one more time take a piece of the chicken and you pull it apart like this that way you can have more chicken instead of buying so much You're gonna pull the chicken apart like that. That way you can make more chicken into your pot instead of buying pounds and pounds of chicken. And it should look like shredded ch chicken like this. Now I put all the chicken inside. I'm just gonna spin it around. I'm gonna take my broccoli and put it inside. So So now you want to basically um, you basically want to combine the broccoli and the chicken together. All the broccoli. Make 
sure you put it on low, low heat. And you want to mix it all together. Now, as you mix it all together, you want to take your whipping cream. Mind you, if you get a big one like this, you want to pour like three-fourths of it inside the water on low, low heat. Remember, three-fourths of whipping cream inside the pot. Shake it, 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 Once you mix it, you want to leave it. Put a little salt in it because the whipping cream, you want to put just a little bit of salt in it just to have a taste inside. So, I'm going to put some salt. Um, you also, you also want to put pepper, um, but I ran out of my pepper, so I don't have any pepper. So, put ground pepper inside. It makes a lot of sense when you put the pepper inside, but I ran out, not paying attention, I forgot. So you put a little bit of salt inside. Oh, one thing. Once I'm done, like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. I also want you guys to uh try this video make your own chicken alfredo once you make this chicken alfredo quick and easy five step chicken alfredo you will never go back to another restaurant and pay 99 dollars or 60 dollars for chicken alfredo that's gonna be rough and tough and hard all right back to the whipping cream once you put the whipping cream over the broccoli and the chicken you're gonna let it simmer and you will know when it's simmered by looking at the pot around the pot it will have little little tiny bubbles that will come up so once the bubbles start flowing up you'll see that the chicken is ready for the cheese so it's not done yet give it some time um the bubbles on the outside around the pot you will see um bubbles form that's when you know it's boiling and is at a simmer and then you can ready for the next ingredient which is your cheese once it comes to boil that's when you're going to use your parmesan you want your parmesan cheese inside first let me let me tell you once you start putting the parmesan cheese inside don't put too much of parmesan you want to use maybe Two, a half or three-fourths. Not so much. I'm just telling you not so much of the Parmesan. I don't know the measurement for myself because I look, you know, I'm black. <laughs> we go by our eye, what our eye tell us to put inside our food, and that's how we do it. So, let me check. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Um, so we waiting basically. Like I said, five step chicken alfredo. I'm gonna go over it one more time. You will need one more time for the record. You will need five steps. You'll need chicken, Purdue chicken, three dollars and ninety-three cents in Walmart for a pack. You don't want you want a lot, you buy three or four packs of chicken and you have a chicken alfredo with a lot of chicken in it. Me, I just don't use that much. So I use two packets of it. Once it's cooked, I break it up. You would need broccoli. This broccoli is two dollars and ninety-seven cents. It is cooked broccoli already. All you do is take it, you put it in your microwave for five minutes. Once it's finished, it's done. You put it to the side. You need two packets of cheese. 
Parmesan and mozzarella. Mozzarella, Parmesan, whatever. I keep mixing it up. Two Parmesan, mozzarella. And you need some whipping cream. This is the most important thing. Is this. You can have chicken alfredo without the noodles. You can have chicken alfredo without the chicken. But this whipping cream and the cheese is the most important thing you need in your chicken alfredo. And of course, your noodles. If you want a good chicken alfredo, you have to add the noodles. I'm going to, even if you're not going to eat the noodles, just so your food presentation can look good, you want your noodles. Any noodles you want. You can use spaghetti noodles. I use penny noodles. You can use whatever noodles you want. Here it is. So, like, right now is about the time that you should put your, um, Parmesan, Parmesan, crass, crass Parmesan cheese inside the pot. too much mozzarella but the more mozzarella you put the more cheesy it is you don't want the mozzarella to overshadow the alfredo you know because the alfredo is just basically parmesan and heavy whipping cream i choose to put mozzarella in mine because i like i want it to be cheesy i love cheese so we're gonna put it in there There you have it. Now we just basically wait for it to cream up. And and now you wait. And it's going to be cheesy. I'll put some more salt. More salt inside. This is going to be the bomb. gonna wait for it to thicken a little bit and once it's thickened we gonna add the noodles as I said before the noodles is pooch so it's done like that um, before you put it in there you want to uh, take a little oil and put the oil around it and move it around so the oil can be a little the noodles could be a little moist. Any kind of oil. I'm not a big chef, so I'm not going to use olive oil because all I got is Crisco. <laughs> so that's what we're going to use today. Well, vegetable. And you just pour it over the noodles. Like that. And then you just move it around. You can use your hand. You just basically moisten the noodles and like right now you can go ahead and add the noodles most people wait till the alfredo is done but me i like to mix my noodles and everything together when you go to the restaurant they don't mix the noodles they just basically um put the noodles first and then they go to the, the alfredo put the alfredo on top i don't do that i mix everything together so everything can be cheesy the noodles the broccoli the chicken everything so i'm gonna go ahead and put all of it inside there now Look at 
cheese, falling down as cheese for me. And you don't want no watered down freaking Alfredo. You want it nice and thick. Mozzarella on it. And I'm going to let it cook. And it's almost done. And we are going to taste this and show you what it came out looking like, honey. I'm gonna um I'm gonna take my top and put my top on top of it only because um I like to melt all the cheese so once I put the cover on top of the Alfredo um everything will melt at the same time and slow cook so I'm gonna get me a plate because I'm I'm almost done. This Alfredo is done. Less than less than a half an hour, and I'm gonna get somebody unfamiliar that never tastes my cooking to come in here and taste it. Just so. Alfredo is done. So, so y'all won't think I'm lying. I have uh, one of my daughter's friends here, and I'm gonna put a little bit on a plate, and I'm gonna let her try it. And from here on out, you will see if it tastes good. And I want her to be honest. I want her to tell if it's disgusting, if it's nasty, and how does it taste. none of my food so I just got finished making a chicken alfredo and she's going to test it out and I want her to absolutely be honest to let y'all know if it how does it taste you ready yeah okay. <laughs> so so she's going to tell y'all if I'm lying or not all right all right Hannah yes okay this is my chicken alfredo all right and um, I'm going to put this in here. I'm not going to put a lot. Just enough for you to taste it. Okay. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> All right. And it has, before she eat it, it has broccoli. I'm going to put a little bit more mozzarella on the top. A little bit more Parmesan. Just a little bit. And some more mozzarella. 
Mind you, this is Olivia friend, and um, she never ate my food before, right? Okay. All right, y'all. So let me show y'all the plate. This is the Alfredo, damn. And she's gonna taste it. All right, guys. Let me get her a nice fork. And if she like it, she can eat it all, which I know she's not gonna eat too much. Cause they not eaters. I don't have a plastic fork and, I, and all I have is this. I don't know how she feels about eating from other people's okay. too. You don't care, all right? Mm -hmm. So here, this is all on her, y'all. Make sure you get a little chicken too. <laughs> Look at the cheese falling from her mouth, honey. <laughs> yes. Tastes good, right? You give me a thumbs up. See, there you go. Told you. If you want to have it, you can have it. You want to eat it? You want some? Okay. So maybe she's not hungry right now, but thank you, Hannah, yes. for taste testing my food to show my subscribers that I don't play. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yes. Luna, you want to taste some? Yes. All right, Luna. This is another. Now, Luna, she ate my food before. She fucks things up. Okay, so I'm gonna give you another fork because Hannah had this. Okay, and I want you to also taste this. All right, so look at her, she's ready. Let me give you a little bit more. All right, all right, there you go. This is another friend. I'm gonna taste my cookie before, okay. Look how she said, ah, oh, honey. How it tastes? Mm -hmm. Tastes good? You want to have it? Mm -hmm. See, there you go. See, you got to understand, Olivia's girlfriend, she, this is her first time here eating. So, you know, a lot of newcomers, they, they never ate before. They might be a little shy or whatever, but thanks, Luna. You can take it with you. Mm. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so there you have it, guys. That's my chicken Alfredo. I want to show and you. Shout out to um, Zara. You got pee in your pee. Go. What you just did? You just told me that's my fucking video. I'm sorry, guys. That was exquisite right there. I don't believe she just did that. But um, anyway, I'm sorry. So I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. Because I can't really do much. See that? See that? Nice and cheesy. Look at that. It's not too much I can do. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. My chicken Alfredo is done. I'm going to do another little plate for myself and uh, show you more. I want to thank my special guest that was here that ate. And now I'm going to eat and present to you. This is my Alfredo, guys. I'm going to put some more cheese. Look at that. So, this is my chicken Alfredo. Um, I don't know if you can really see it like that. But you see the broccoli. You see the chicken, the noodles. Um... And everything I really want y'all to take a close look because it's like amazing look at that it's amazing honey I can really cook cook you see that that is my chicken alfredo it got broccoli it got noodles it got cheese it got chicken it got everything this is a five-step chicken alfredo like I said I use two packets of cheese whipping cream noodles and chicken and broccoli five easy steps to make this chicken alfredo guys understand this i am very big on food and i love to cook i would like you to like comment 
subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel i'm gonna continue to cook for you guys i want you to tune in every time i want to thank you for my subscribers who subscribe the likes even the thumbs down that i got i really don't appreciate it but you like what you like you have your own opinion and you want to have a thumbs down that betters me to let me know how you feel about my videos so again thank you guys five easy steps to a chicken alfredo i want to thank you for watching like comment share subscribe baby and i'm out